it's Lee from ColoringQueen.net and today I've got the Cursed Pirate Girl colouring book. Now this colouring book has been around for a while because it's based on the graphic novel of the same name. But I was never aware of it until my recent Love What You Do contest. And that's that contest that I have over on Facebook regularly. And uh, the winner gets to choose their own book because I think that's always nice. There's always something that I want. And so I assume that everyone else would want the same. Anyway, the winner chose this book. And so when I seen it, I thought, wow, when I was ordering it, I thought, this is really different, and I don't have a pirate colouring book, so maybe I need this. So I put it onto my wish list, and then of course, it, you know, within hours it moved from the wish list over to the cart. So it's got these really intricate drawings. Now, I haven't read the graphic novel or seen the graphic novel, but I really love the textural part of all of these drawings. It's really lovely. It's like a, not a grey scar, but like a pen and ink, which uh, I also love. So these illustrations are just beautiful. Look at all that detail. It's just stunning. Now the paper is an off-white, medium quality. And because of all the texture in these pages... I think it would uh, be really good for beginners because all this hatching fine lines and detail here would make it a lot easier for a beginner colorist to follow. I love this. Now there's a picture of my cat in here. I swear it's my cat. I'll show you when we come to it. And doesn't this sort of remind you of Kirby Roseanne's? Well, it reminds me. So it's very detailed and really, really beautiful. I'm surprised how much I like it because most people know I don't really like skulls and stuff that much. But I always do appreciate art and beautiful art. Now you see I did give it a shove there. It's got stitching and glued binding. I'm going to need David to push that down further for me, but I think it will, will snap. I'm just a weakling. And then that will be easier to colour, but... It is laying down relatively easy. So look at the tiny detail on that. I mean, I'd be inclined with that one on the left just to do a colour wash. But look at this. This is beautiful. Now, I imagine that if you were very sparing with your water, the ink tents would look just wonderful in this, just giving it a wash. So look at this, aren't these different? I've never seen anything like this before, like artwork wise. It's really different. This is gorgeous. And the antlers on here remind me of a Christmas picture, but then you see it's a skull on the horse. <laughs> so even though I don't know of this graphic novel personally, I don't think it stops me from enjoying the colouring book. I mean, if that was a theory, I'd probably only have two books that are based on something in real life. I'm probably the only person in the world that's never seen Game of Thrones. I mean, I've seen the trailers and I know what it's about, but I've never actually seen a whole episode. But it wouldn't stop me from buying the book. Aren't these beautiful? Like, look at the detail. So the line art ranges between a dull black that's a little bit heavier to look at, so some solidity there, and then a lighter grey, a lighter dull black in other areas. But look how much detail there is in this. Look at all those little strokes to make up that illustration. So we've got our mermaids. And they just aren't as glamorous as normal mermaids that we're used to. And that's good, I think. I think it's good to 
see things differently. We don't want to always look at skinny little mermaids and because they're not reflective of real life. Well, I don't anyway. Look at the skull in the shell backing there. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at this. It's a lion with wings and a skull and a timer. Now I'm sure if I read this novel, this these images would make more sense and be more in context. But I really don't think I want to. And I just want to enjoy the pictures as they are. Now throughout there's some balloon bubbles there so that you can write your own uh, wording in there if you want. What a little monster she was. <laughs> I love this. The swashbuckling, the swashbuckling pirate girl. Look at this. Looks like Queen Elizabeth uh, the first. Look at this beautiful, so many beautiful scales and reptiles there. And it's nice that we also have a little bit of a, a conversation in some parts, but I don't think it's really necessary unless you're, you know, an actual fan of the actual graphic novel. Look at this. Look at the intricacy in this. It's just divine. And look at this teapot. And she's trapped inside a teapot cage. And there's a little door up here on the little stone top. It's just divine. And look at these tiny details. Now personally, I, I just don't think I could colour that. It's too detailed for me. But if I got my magnifying lamp out, I think I'd just wash some colour over it. And I think because of the amount of texture that the illustrator has put in there, that it would still look good. To be honest, I just enjoy looking at it. It's just one of those books that you could look at a picture for hours and see all different sorts of things in it. The large face and then the small curtain detail over here and she's breaking through the swashbuckling barrier and we've got the sea here in the background. And this is all black solid on the back. Very sketchy, illustrative look on this one. And this one's gorgeous too. I mean, look at that. It looks like the White Rabbit and the Mad Hatter and Alice in Wonderland gone crazy on this one. It does to me. But everything looks like Alice in Wonderland to me. I think we all know that by now. And look at him. He's smoking his hubbly bubbly pipe and he's got his wooden leg. And she's falling down. It's uh, nice to see a, a girl in a, a strong female character too. Look at this pig with the apple in there. It's, it's really gorgeous, this book. Really gorgeous. I'm so glad that I bought it. Because if I haven't mentioned before, but... I'm really not buying many colouring books. I've got a few in mind that I would like on my wish list and some that are coming out later in the year. But I don't really want to buy just that many colouring books when I've got so many beautiful ones. So it has to be something special to make me buy it nowadays. And uh, I'm really glad that I got this one. It's just really interesting. Look at this, the skull with the curls and like the jester stockings and then we've got wings and gosh, so much detail. Grab that feathered rat. So they're talking about the parrot over here. And look, he's got a um, head guard on. <laughs> So happy All Hallows even. It's a nice one for Halloween. And here's my cat. This is Millie. I mean, it reminds me of Puss in Boots a bit, but it's such a Millie look when she wants something. She's asleep at the moment, but 
when she wants something, man, she does that little look and the eyes, exactly her eyes. So I think she must have modelled for that one. Look at the detail here. You can look even seashells on their outfit. And we've got a bit of everything on this one. And we've even got some bunnies, although they're kind of weird looking. <laughs> and this is gorgeous. Look at her hair and we've got so many other different elements caught up in it. And these ones are on just a single page, so this is the cover art, which I think is gorgeous. It's very darker black, that one. And we've got a bit about the author here. There's a no real spare pictures or spare pages, sorry, to test out your mediums unless you use those ones at the front. We've got this lovely laminate cover. Now, it seems to be quite uh, resistant to dirt. You can wipe it off and... Uh, it seems to resist, but it is getting some marks down the side. So if you're using it regularly or perhaps with watercolours, I probably would put some plastic over it. The links, as usual, are below the video. And if you're watching this on my blog, they're at the top of the blog page and at the bottom. If you liked this book, please give it a like. Please consider clicking that subscribe button below the video and click the bell button up the top to be notified of future uploads. Until next time, happy colouring.